So we caught up with uh, Hans Becking, a fan favorite, and he's going to tell us all about Megamo. Hans, the word Megamo is written on the bike, the heart of the bike, which is the frame. Tell us a little bit about the frame. Well, um, we use the Megamo track. It's launched last year from, from Megamo. Megamo is a, a small family company from Girona in Spain. And we're growing very, very fast. Um, together with the team, we're working a lot on developing the frame. And as you can see, we have a very modern bike. Um, the setup is for 120, 120 or 100, 100, 110. It's, it's really up to, to the rider, the choice. And yeah, we're growing and growing. And as a rider, I, I ride many bikes and I'm, I'm extremely happy with Megamo so far. Well, you talked about the suspension travel. Uh, it doesn't look like you're running 120, so you're not running the full travel potential of this bike. Uh, tell us about the front end suspension. Well, with Fox, I, I choose my suspension to 110. It's, it's one millimeter less. It's a little bit more marathon style, a bit deeper, a bit more aerodynamic. And for the terrain, for me, 110 with my body weight, it's enough. Another piece of uh, fabulous carbon fiber is the front end of this bike, the cockpit. Yeah. What's, uh, what's the, this is a one piece uh, system here. Yeah, this is my Jiminy Propus handlebar. Uh, I started using it last year and as you can see, they painted in the same colors as the frame and it looks really neat it, and it's really, I must say for steering, it's really stiff, but still it has some flex for the marathon to, to be comfortable on the bike and together with the frame, it, it's working perfectly for me. So how long is the stem then effectively? This one is a hundred millimeter. Yeah, it looks a bit longer because it's one piece and I'm riding 700 mil wide handlebars to not get caught in the bushes or <laughs> anything. Hans, this paint job is uh, quite beautiful. What, uh, what does it all mean? What is, uh, is it a special, is it a custom paint job? Is it uh, something that we can buy? Yeah, now normally we have only for the team the, the special limited edition, which always for me it's something beginning of the year, super surprise how the Cape Epic bike will look and every time they do a really good job. But actually this one will be available in limited edition. You see the South African continent here, um, the flag and the colors look really nice. And yeah, we, I'm super proud to, to have a special bike for this special race for me. So if you check out our channels, you'll be able to find a, an insert about the Wahoo and the data you have in the Wahoo. But uh, how exactly are you measuring the power? Well, I use a, a Quark, um, 170 mil cranks for me with my shorter legs. I like to spin it uphill, a bit shorter cranks. And always Quark never let me down to transfer the data super fast to the Wahoo. And yeah, nowadays without power meter, it's, it's like uh, riding in the dark for me. So it's very important. On the cockpit, can I just uh, ask you what all these controls are for? Yeah, sure. <laughs> this is my lockout. I have three positions, so now it's open. Fully one middle stand, it's nice for climbing with a bit rocky, rocky ground and then fully blocked for, for the climbs. And this is my dropper, uh, eight centimeter. It's perfect for marathon and then the access shifter. Hans, is there anything special about this bike that uh, is slightly different from the stock standard bike? Um, something that's specially for the Absa Cape Epic? Yeah, for sure. We need to be prepared a bit more for eight days in South Africa than a normal race. Uh, I have a power link under my grips, uh, one left, one right. Uh, some parts of duct tape, which seems to be essential this year. Uh, some tie wraps and then to be sure the bottles don't fly anywhere. I have some extra tape here to, to secure the bottles on the right place. And then also the tires look basic, but we, we use some extra protection inside. For Cape, we, we prefer secure tires. So we ask Pirelli and they make specific for us, make tires that are slightly more heavy but more more strong we have no no punctures this week already so they work really well uh, it's not all about the outside but also the inside and we have some magic parts that helping us uh, to be oh there it is to be more safe well this is the the insert from panzer we use with the team um, we use it in the rear so basically what it does it's an extra protection to don't get any snake bites so if we hit a rock we won't have the effect that the tire gets gets stuck between the rim and the, and the rock or whatever it's going to hit it but have this extra kind of cushion that will will protect it for for don't flat that fast and it's only you can feel it it's only almost nothing and it saves our lives many times so it's absolutely a must in the cape 
One final question, Hans. What do you think your bike weighs? 11.12. But it's a guess. 11.3. Almost, eh? What did I win? <laughs> Thanks very much, Hans. Great to hear about uh, the Megamo and to understand a bit more about the Spanish brand. Thank you so much for, for letting showing us this beautiful piece of art. <laughs>